Hello and welcome back to chapter 7, lecture number 32. So we added these um, brick balanced walls against the main structure and we applied the material and did some texture work. <clears throat> Sorry. And in this lecture, I want to focus on the roofing and let's enable main structure roofing. There we have it. So right now it's just an empty white uh, object and what I like to do is share the same material as these towers material and we do need to do some projection uh, first I like to add some ed extra edge lines over there it doesn't really matter how many as long you have uh, sort of square sized um, areas that's impossible on these areas so I add two of these some over there and two over there great and two more over here so a quick check looks really good to me all right so this is an empty hole i'm aware of that but i want to add something in there because we have the broken wall and this area is open so i want to make it look uh, destructed so let's add a projection go to the uv image editing we want to have a roofing image the slates all provided by texture haven uh, free and cc0 um, texture platform so I can recommend grab all your textures there there are so many so um, a quick check so it should be good I prefer to have some small roof tiling uh, but we want to have these on the sides as well Yes, so go to the face mode. There are moments that I just wait and just uh, watch my work <laughs> because I'm not a robot, I have to think as well. You need to uh, ask yourself if you watch tutorials and people are not thinking if it's uh, some interesting knowledge you learn because it's, it's more than normal you think about your work. <laughs> Like, hmm, is it smart doing it this way? Yes, I created this cast before many times. Uh, but still, every every time it's a bit different. So uh, let's take a look what we have. Yes, I want to select this area as well. And we go for a projection. Remember recording the previous uh, course, the 2.79. And we created a medieval city scene and during the building process I uh, just changed some of the uh, areas so I removed the buildings and added new ones and students complain about why I was doing that because I wanted to show how this creative process works sometimes you add something and sometimes you remove it so why not showing that process in a course in my opinion there's nothing wrong with that anyway keep talking we're doing a tutorial uh, a course a tutorial this is a video course so select everything and I want to have a gray border on the bottom as well so we need to scale this a bit more so we have it right there it's a challenge smaller I'm watching this area that area so if you think what are you doing we want the gray roof right there just select the top area slightly downwards okay I'm happy so from this angle you will have a little bit view on this ceiling about ceilings we want to have a ceiling on this area as well control B and one extra edge line that will work and on the other side as well control B and here and over there otherwise there's a very hard transition okay and now we need to add a texture on it we do not have UV coordinates so let's just project it 
This is E and Ubit style. <laughs> well, I use it uh, since I'm modeling, but he just put this uh, in public like it's uh, one of the best ways to texture. It's, it is a fast way. There you go. But some people hate it. They, if they see someone is showing this way of texturing, they think, eh, let's skip this tutorial. I think it's about the end result, if that's a satisfying image. Oh, why not doing it? Okay, so we want to have this area. To be textured, you project from view. A funny note when I started this course in July I created like seven scenes and just three of them ended up in the in the course and I just copied some great parts of other scenes into this one um, but yeah there were other ones as well but sometimes you need to pick the best parts all right so enough talking what I like to do is um, uh, we need to take care on this area and uh, we need to smooth out this area as well because now right now it's just cutting the uh, the slates so same as the farmhouse I'm going to make slates and just adding them around this area from the inside I want to add planks on this face so need to add a new material I'm putting it right there and I will duplicate a part of this, not now, I'm just explaining what we're going to do. Uh, this area and that area, I will duplicate it, make it smaller and add planks as well. So it looks like you can look into this area, like it's, uh, uh, um, what do you say? Uh, um, I cannot find, ah, that's, uh, it's not a shed, it's, uh, it's a roof area <laughs> uh, this is sort of black empty blackness in my mind anyway so I think we need to have uh, some time so we can uh, work on that in the next lecture so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one